Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. A massacre averted. Police in Florida have arrested a teenager after foiling what they say was a potentially catastrophic plot to set off a bomb at his former high school. Police discovered materials to make pipe bombs, shrapnel and timing and fusing devices in 17-year-old Jared Kano's apartment. They say he was intent on causing more casualties than the 1999 Columbine High School massacre where 13 people died. And they indeed found a manifesto written by Jared that outlined minute by minute what his actions were going to be on the first day of school to include detonating uh, explosive devices through the school. The first response was when they got the information it was an action plan to be perfectly honest with you there wasn't an emotional reaction there was a let's get to the bottom of this what can we do to help you let's find out if it's a realistic incredible threat because as I'm sure you guys are aware it was a tip that, that started it and so as with any of those cases we're going to find out if it's credible first. I think that some of the fear and some of the reaction, emotional reaction, came once we found out some of the, of the specifics of, of what had happened and what was found inside the apartment. A controversial visit. Pope Benedict XVI has arrived for a four-day trip to Spain today, but not everyone is welcoming him with open arms. Six people were arrested and two police officers injured after thousands protested in Madrid. Protesters claim the government is spending taxpayers' money on the visit. Too soon to celebrate, in Benghazi, thousands of supporters of Libya's rebel fighters have taken to the streets to mark six months since the uprising began. The crowd gathered to sing the rebel national anthem as fierce battles continue to rage in the crucial city of Sawiya. Rebel fighters say most of the city is now under control, but troops loyal to Colonel Gaddafi have been fighting back. Still defiant, Syria's President Bashar Assad has told supporters at a party meeting that his country will not give up its dignity and sovereignty. The latest comments come after Assad told the United Nations that his country's crackdown on the five-month-old uprising has stopped. More than 1,800 civilians have been killed since mid-March. An awful tragedy. A four-year-old girl has been mauled to death in Australia by a pit bull. The pit bull belonged to a neighbour but entered five-year-old Ian Shaw's house and attacked her while she was watching TV. Her mother, Jacqueline Ankato, told reporters three adults couldn't fend the creature off. And talk about a tricky situation. New York City's Department of Sanitation says it's investigating how a salt-spreading truck crashed through the second-floor wall of a repair shop and was left dangling for hours. Firefighters used a cherry picker to rescue the driver. He's in hospital, but in a stable condition. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, a monster tug of war goes really wrong. At number four, with friends this big, you can expect some big hugs when you get home. At number three, it's the hunchback cat making a comeback. At number two, another classy ad, fail. Excuse me, miss. Where did you get this fabulous outfit from? Well, I... Uh... They always say they got it from Divine Red at Wolf Chess Mall. Maybe you two might fascinate me. Fascinating. <laughs> and number one today, meet Captain Awesome, who isn't. Oh! <laughs> Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Claire and Paul will be here with all the sport. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.